What's up guys and welcome to yet another first look at Planet Coaster Console Edition. In this video we're going to be talking about mainly track rides, but if you guys want to skip ahead to the next video where I'm talking about flat rides, I know they sound very similar but they are very very different, go ahead and click just over here at that little card. But for the time being, let's get back on track rides. Haha, <laughs> horrible pun, I'm so sorry, I'll never say that again. So to get to track rides you just hit RB or LB on your controller and it'll take you right to it. Now a lot like the coaster video that you saw previously, we have the option to choose between a couple of blueprints as well as create our own custom track ride. I recommend going the custom route, but if you guys want to place down a blueprint just because you can, totally do it. Like the Buccaneers Bounty, for example, this one's phenomenal. I used this in a PC Planet Coaster series a long, long time ago, and it did really, really well. So you know what? Just for the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and place Buccaneer's Bounty right here. Now, of course, we're going to have to enter the testing phase of the ride. Now, the most difficult part, in my opinion, about placing down a blueprint ride of any kind is being able to connect the path how the blueprint originally intended it to be. I'm going to use the asphalt queue path for this one. And that, my friends, is the entrance queue. Now, I'm going to do a similar thing for the exit but probably a little bit less stairs. And just like that, we have our exit path now complete. It is just one big staircase instead of multiple staircases. So it's gonna be a little bit faster for the guests to exit than it is to queue up for this ride. Now I believe the testing phase has started. So if we go down here to the camera mode, this will actually put us in the ride's first person view camera, which is always a good time. Oh man, this makes me want to play Sea of Thieves so bad. But that ride should be done testing very, very shortly and we'll be able to open her on up. But let's go back into track rides now and we can press down our right stick to open up the custom selection here. Now the one that I always like to do is the gondola because the main purpose of track rides, yes, you can have a really, really fancy pants track ride that basically just comes right back to the same station. But what I like to use track rides for is for things like the gondola or a chairlift to basically transport the guests in the park from one side to the other. So that's exactly what I'm gonna show you guys how to do right now. So we're gonna drop down the station on the far side of the park over here, and immediately it's gonna want us to place a drive station wheel or a bowl wheel cap. So the bowl wheel cap is for the other side. Since this is the starting station, we're gonna use the drive station. And now of course it's facing the wrong way. We want to go to the left and it's currently facing to the right. So how do we fix that? Well, all we have to do is go ahead and reselect the ride, which we already are, and go all the way down on the interface over here to advanced move. This is probably the best way to do it. So the position doesn't change. We're just going to rotate it around. Now, since angle snap is on, it's going to rotate at 45 degrees. And we can place it down right there. Now, if we go back in to edit the track, we're going to be able to adjust both sides simultaneously. So for this one, I'm going to do a gradual drop or incline, depending on what direction the guests are traveling on. And then we're going to go up to 45, a little bit more gradual, and then straight flat to zero. And we're going to take this all the way over. It's actually going to want us to go underneath of this coaster here. But what I'm going to do instead is we're going to go to the right of it. So we have what's called the dual turning track. We're just going to bank it over ever so slightly. Now we can go back over to just the, the standard dual track. Straight again, we're gonna go a little bit gradual, 45, a little bit gradual again. And this is where we can place down our other station. And lastly, our bull wheel cap. Now with the ride completely placed down, we can go ahead and start the test. We can even jump in the ride camera if we really wanted to. Now it's important when you're making a track ride that has two stations to make sure that you're selecting either station when you want to edit them in whatever way. So you can select the ride right here, just gondola, but what you have to do next is go down to either station one or station two. I'm gonna be selecting station one. And this is again where you'd edit the ticket price, the uh, the entrances, 
any of the settings, the maintenance tab. I mean, it's all right here. Now we're gonna open up station two and make sure we have our entrance and our exit. Looks like they're over here on this side and we can go ahead and connect those to the main path as well. Now, the issue that I'm noticing with this ride, as you can see, it's clearly rotating the wheel. The lines are moving, but we don't have any gondolas. I actually don't know why that is. I haven't found a setting in here for the amount of gondolas you can have at a time. Even if I go into the station settings, I don't see anything, not even in advanced settings. Yeah, this is very interesting. I have no idea why it's not working. Now it's not even letting me test it. So I think I, I think I made an oopsie somewhere. I'm not really sure where, but let's head back into track rides. I want to see if they have any chairlifts or other gondolas as a blueprint. It doesn't look like it. I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's try the standard chairlift. Huh. Okay. Yeah, the chairlift definitely works. I have no idea what is going on with the gondola. That's super weird. But nonetheless, we can get the chairlift testing out as soon as... One of the chairs from this side reaches the opposite side. It should be completely tested and we'll be able to open it up. But much like the coasters, customizing the track for a track ride or a chairlift or, or whatever you want to call it is exactly the same to a T. We even have the same radial menu when we are actually editing the track to use in order to, well, not bank for track rides, I guess, but for turning, for autocomplete, all that good stuff. So honestly, I know this is much, much shorter than the coaster video, but to be fair, everything that I covered in the coaster video is applicable to the track rides. Same, same, but different. So with that being said, I do think I'm gonna wind down this video here. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.